Blessed be the name of the Lord God who gives us joy. God who comes through to us if we belong to him. He said, my eyes rove throughout the entire earth to show myself strong on the behalf of them that love me. Do you love God? What does it mean to love God anyway? Is it because I say I love God? No, because I obey him. He said, if you love me, obey my commandments. That's the proof of the love of God. That we have love for God. That's the proof. Now we are going to read Psalm 18. And I am going to read verse 28 and 29. Psalm 18, 28 and 29. For you will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by you I can run against the troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. Yes, I can run against a troop. What does it mean? A troop, this is military language. Soldiers, a battalion of soldiers are coming against me. A battalion usually is a thousand people. And I am alone, single. And I am going against a thousand well-armed men. How can I succeed? I can remember David waking up to go against Goliath. And the king of Israel, Saul, kitted him up to go fight Goliath. He said, no, I won't be able to go in this thing. A man, first of all, had told him, you can't go against this man. He has been a warrior from his youth. He has always won every war. David still insisted, I'll go. They put the military outfit on him. He said, no, I can't put them on. I'll just wear my normal dress. I can imagine when he was stepping forward and everybody knew that he's going to kill himself. He's going to die. They will just pity the boy. Say, ah, this one is a dead boy. Let him go now. And even the Goliath saw him and said, what is this one? What is this dead little thing coming against me? This dog, who is he? He despised David. That's what the scripture says. Because he just couldn't imagine what the little thing is coming to do against him. But I like this scripture. By you, as little as I am. Looked down by the enemy, but much more so looked down by my own people. Looked down by the ones that should support me. Given up as useless by the ones that should stand by me. His brothers had already told him, this thing is not for children. Go back home. Why are you here? But he brought food for them. They quarreled with him because he asked who is this man. It does not matter how many people have run away from the battalion. That battalion is consuming. They destroy everybody. Run from them. Everybody's running. Forty days, forty nights. The armies of Israel, including the king, when Goliath shows up, everybody will run away. In the morning, in the evening, he comes out, everybody will run away. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers of Israel. But here is a little David. Oh boy. By God... I can move against a troop. I run against the troop. And they won't be able to harm me. Rather than that, I am able to destroy all of them. How could David, with no weapon whatsoever, kill Goliath? You can imagine David picking just a pebble on the ground and putting it in a catapult, which is called sling. A catapult. By the time he drew the sling to throw his stone, everybody knew that this boy can be serious. But that killed Goliath. By you, not by me. Not according to the power that you have, but according to the power that is generated by the power of God. By the presence of God. Because the stone of David was propelled by the Holy Spirit. The efficacy of that stone was determined by the Holy Spirit and it was enough to kill Goliath. A single stone that hit his forehead, that killed him. Every other part of his body was completely covered. And just a little thing came out there. The stone was able to get just to that point. You know what I'm saying? When you say you go against a troop, you are directed by the Holy Spirit. You are led by the Holy Spirit. Everything of yours is propelled by the Holy Spirit. I can leap over a wall. And those walls are not some small things. Those were walls that chariots would go side by side on some of them more than 20 feet wide. Can anybody jump across a 20 feet wide space? Nobody can. 
But when the Holy Spirit propels you, you'll do it. Elijah was able to run faster than the chariots of King Ahab. When he told him, go back, run, it's going to fall. The king left before Elijah, but Elijah arrived Samaria before the king. Why? Because he was propelled by the Holy Spirit. You will do the impossible. That's exactly what this passage is saying. When God lights your lamp, when the Lord enlightens your darkness, yes, we have darkness surrounding us. It says steep darkness engulfs the whole world, but the Lord has told you, rise, your light has shone. Your light is shining now. Your lamp has been lit, and it is giving light where there is darkness. Where everything consumed you, the light of God is redeeming you. There is something about the light of God. It's not like the light of the sun or electricity. It comes with the power of God, with the presence of God. And when that power and presence comes to you, what can resist you? Nothing. What can stand against you? Nothing. All the things that stood against everybody else. And I like to say this. The thing that has destroyed every member of your family the thing that has become what you call curse or covenant of the family and everybody is affected. By this word today, the power has come for you that you will overthrow them and overtake them completely in Jesus' name. David did it. The thing that had afflicted all of Israel for 40 days and 40 nights. And the power that Goliath had displayed, not only in Israel, across all the countries there for Years and years and years, like Saul himself testified since he was a youth. David brought all down. Today you are going to bring them down. God is going to empower you. I want to pray for everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, let that power come now by your spirit. Let that power come now according to your glory. And by that power, yes, Lord, thank you. My sister is empowered. My brother is empowered. They can go against every troop and be victorious. The power of victory has come over you. You are victorious over that situation. You are victorious over that power. You are more than a conqueror in spite of what is facing you. And that thing submits to you right now. It fails completely. And you have triumphed in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Mm-hmm.